Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is um, kind of show you how to solve this absolute value inequality. So in doing that, when solving an absolute value inequality, the first thing we need to do is isolate the absolute value before we can create our two cases. So to do that, I'll subtract 2 on both sides. So I have 1 fourth absolute value of x minus 3 is now less than negative 1. Um, then to get rid of the 1 fourth, I'll multiply by the reciprocal on both sides. So therefore, I have the absolute value of x minus 3 is less than uh, negative 1. Now, when creating my absolute value inequality, I need to go back and use a compound inequality, right? Uh, so I need to create a compound with and. So when I create a compound inequality, well, this is already negative. Usually, we did the positive and the negative. Well, if that's negative, let's maybe assume, well, what if it's positive then? Well, let's make it negative, positive. And then what we see is this just doesn't make sense, right? How can x minus 3 be larger than 1 but less than, um, less than negative 1? And remember, when it's less than, it's an and. So it has to be true for both of them. Well, this is impossible, so therefore, this is no solution. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve an absolute value inequality with no solution. Thanks.